Hi everyone, welcome to Korean Express YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn a very important concept of Korean language. That is how to say from in Korean. Now from is a very important word in English also because we use it a lot in our everyday life. And so in Korean too, from is used a lot in everyday conversations, right? I received a gift from my brother or I received a message from my friend. So from is quite frequently used in our everyday life. And therefore, it becomes very important for us to know how to say from in Korean. And a very interesting thing is that there are multiple ways or words to say from in Korean language. So it makes it more interesting for us to learn this particular word in Korean. Okay. Now, before we begin, I would suggest you to go and watch this particular video first in which we learned how to say to in Korean. Okay, because the words that are used to, to say to and from, they are quite similar. And the concept behind these words is also very similar. So it will be very easy for you to understand how to say from in Korean once you know how to say in Korean. Okay, I'm going to share the link of this particular video in the description also. Okay, now let's move ahead. If you don't know what is a particle in Korean language or what is the concept of Korean particles, then it will be slightly difficult for you to go through this video. Because to say from in Korean, there are multiple particles that are used in Korean language. So, if you don't know what is a particle, then you don't have to worry because I've already made a video in which I gave an introduction to the concept of Korean particles and how they are used in Korean language. So, I'm going to share the link of this very short video in the description so you can go through it and understand the concept of particles so that it becomes easy for you to understand how this concept works and how we are going to use these particles to say from in Korean sentences. Okay. All right. Now let's move ahead and see how to say from in Korean. The Korean particles, ekeso, hanteso, and uroputo. They are used to say from in Korean. So these are the three Korean particles that mean from. Ekeso, hanteso, and uroputo. They indicate the source of an action. Often, when someone receives something from someone. So basically, these three particles, they indicate the source or the starting point of an action. Okay, by this I mean, they indicate the noun, for example, the person who is doing an action for someone. Okay. So, if you are receiving something from someone, then that someone is indicated using these three particles. Okay, I know it is quite difficult for us to understand with the help of definition because definitions are quite boring and difficult. Therefore, you have to go through examples. I'm going to introduce you all to these three particles in a way that we learn how to use them in Korean sentences and then it will be very easy for you to understand their usage. Okay, this is just the definition. Just remember that these particles, they indicate that someone from whom you receive something. Okay, and they are attached directly to the noun from which something is received. All right, now you might be thinking, Yet, why are there three particles for one single word, right? Obviously, there has to be some reason because there are three particles, so there has to be some difference between them, right? Although they have the same meaning, but these particles, they differ in terms of politeness levels or the context of use, okay? So now let's see the differences between these particles and how to use them in different situations. First of all, we are going to compare 
에게서 안 한테서. 에게서 is the neutral or formal way of saying from someone. Okay, so in formal situations, we use 에게서 to say from. 한테서 is the informal or casual way of saying from someone. So in informal or casual situations, you prefer 한테서 to say from. This is the first difference. Now, 에게서 is commonly used in written Korean. In written form, we use 에게서 more commonly. But it can also be used in speech. Okay, it doesn't mean that you cannot use it in speech. You can use it in speech. But in written Korean, in the written format, in written language, we use 에게서 more commonly as compared to in speech. Whereas, 한테서 is usually used in conversational everyday Korean. Okay, so in uh, conversations, in our day-to-day -day conversations, we use 한테서 more commonly. Why is that? Because as I said, 한테서 is used in informal or casual way. And in our everyday life, we usually have um, informal or casual conversations. And therefore, we use 한테서 in such situations, right? Now, let's move ahead and see these following examples and understand how to use these particles in Korean sentences, okay? The first one is, I received a gift from my younger sister. Now here, you have to indicate someone, that someone is your younger sister, from whom you received something, okay? Here, try to frame the definition in this sentence, right? So, in Korean, it is going to be 저는 여동생에게서 선물을 받았어요. Here, the someone from whom you received something is your younger sister. So, you indicated your younger sister with the particle 에게서. Right? 여동생에게서. And to receive is 받다. In past tense, 받았어요. Okay, so this is how you use these particles to indicate that someone from whom you're receiving something. Now let's look at the next example. I borrowed money from Kim. Now here, the someone from whom you received something is Kim. So you have to indicate Kim using either of these three particles i have used a guess over here so here in korean it is 저는 김에게서 돈을 빌렸어요 here the someone from whom you received something is kim so you have attached the particle 에게서 to his name money is 돈 and to borrow is 빌리다 in past tense 빌렸어요 now let's look at the next example. I received a book from the teacher. 저는 선생님한테서 책을 받았어요. Here, the someone from whom you received something is the teacher. So you have to indicate teacher with either of these three particles. 에게서, 한테서, 로버터. Since we have learned two particles, 에게서 and 한테서, we are going to use either of them. So here I have used 한테서. 선생님 한테서, from the teacher, okay? This is very simple. Once you know the concept of using them in sentences, it will be very easy, very simple for you to learn to frame sentences in Korean using these particles, okay? Now, let's look at the next example. I heard the news from my brother. In Korean it is, 저는 형한테서 소식을 들었어요. Here, the someone from whom you received something, from whom you heard something, is your brother. Now here, I'm talking about a man indicating his older brother, that is, 형. So in Korean it is going to be, 형한테서. Okay, 저는 형한테서 소식을 들었어요. It is very easy, right? Okay, now let's move ahead and see how to use 울어부터 as from in Korean. 
okay it can be used for both people and non human entities such as organizations or institutions right now why i am indicating this fact over here because egeso and hanteso they are used only with living things okay only with people or animals but uraputo it can be used for both people and non human entities okay non living things also right so how you are going to use it roputo is used after nouns that end in vowels and uraputo is used after nouns that end in consonants okay just remember this roputo with vowels uraputo with nouns ending in consonants right and another important thing it can be used for both people and non human entities okay now let's see a few examples to understand how to use it in sentences first one is i learned music from my dad now the someone the noun from whom you received something is your dad so it is going to be tonen apojiro puto umagul kewasoyo here you have to indicate your dad from my dad so i have used the particle roputo okay as the noun it ends in a vowel apoji so it becomes apoji roputo music is umag to learn peuda past tense pewasoyo okay next example i received a letter from the company tonen hoesaro puto pyeonjil padasoyo here you received something from a non living entity okay so you are using the particle ro puto to indicate that the company over here is the non living entity right so it becomes hoesa ro puto okay remember the concept remember the rules for using these particles right now a very important note you should know let's see ege and hante they generally mean two but in certain context in certain situations they can be understood as from based on the verb or situation in the sentence with this i mean that there is no need to attach so in the end of ek and hante to translate them as from in korean okay so far in this video we saw that from in korean is ek so or hante so but here what i'm saying is there is no need to attach so in the end of ek and hante to indicate from it is easy to understand when ek and hante mean to and when they mean from with the help of the verb used in the sentence or the situation okay if you have watched the video in which we learned how to say to in korean ek and hante they are used to mean to right but over here you can also use them to mean from in korean for example look at these sentences i received a letter from my friend okay so the someone from whom you received something is your friend here in korean it is tonen chingwo hante byeonjil padasoyo i have used hante to indicate that someone from whom you received something and not hante so okay and in the second sentence i gave a gift to my friend tonen chingwo hante sonmul chwasoyo so here in the second sentence i have used hante to indicate the person whom i gave something right so in the first sentence bada soyo which means received makes it clear that hante means from 
while in the second twasayo which means gave makes it clear that it means to okay you can very easily understand when hante means to and when it means from just by looking at the verbs that are used in these sentences phada soyo means receive so here you can easily find out that okay hante here means from and twa soyo it means gave so here you can find out that hante means to okay this is the logic so why so is not always necessary for understanding if it means from or not it helps clarify the meaning especially if the sentence could be ambiguous right so it is not necessary to use so with again hante to attach so with again hante to indicate from in korean you can just use ek and hante okay there is no need to say ek so hante so but if you are using it then too it's okay because it helps clarify the meaning behind the word okay and especially if you are a beginner i would suggest you to prefer egeso and hanteso to say from in korean because in beginning we are learning so while learning we should know the concept more clearly okay this is just for you to remember that you can use these two words to say either to or from depending on the verb or on the situation in the sentence okay all right so in this video we learned how to say from in korean i hope you like this video don't forget to like share and subscribe korean express youtube channel thank you